here is the um, filter and I need to get to this, the carburetor. So I need to remove the filter and the gas tank, I think, I'm not sure, but I'll see. But that's my next task. I had already replaced the filter. The one that I had was very damaged. Um, it was really dirty. This is a new one that I got from Walmart. And I think it was like $3 at Walmart. I'll put a link in the description box below for the filter that I purchased for this one. And once again, from Walmart. Now, as you can see, there is some conden not condensation. That's gas because I tried to crank it once um, and it wouldn't crank up. Um, it's been like this for several days now. So that's why you see this moisture all around it is, it is gas. And I pushed that little thing about 19, 20 times and it still wouldn't do. Change, it still wouldn't crank up and start. I changed the um, spark plug, it still wouldn't crank up and start. So now I'm gonna pull the carburetor down and clean it out. So that's the next task. And if you can see, there's a bolt here. Let's see, there's a bolt here on this side. And there's a bolt here on this side that needs to come down so i'll get the wrench and tools for that and i have a little container right here to catch anything that comes out as far as fuel i do have fuel in here um i've already mowed once at least for the season so i know there's fuel in there and i'm gonna lose it so i'll try to catch as much as i can and to remove that i'm gonna use this size uh, socket. It's a 5 sixteenths of an inch, I believe, if it can. There it goes, 5 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, that's being used to take that down. So I undid that clamp right there and moved it back a little. Now I'm going to pull the holes back some. So that way I can drain this inside of this little container all right so I got the carburetor down and I'm gonna lift up now so that you can see what I'm holding so this is what the filter looks like well the compartment where the filter goes then behind it is the carburetor um, let me get a good grasp on it one moment all right so, you gotta be careful not to uh, lose that little yellow part that you're seeing. Some people break it off in their way of um, disengaging the carburetor from the motor itself. So, uh, definitely gonna get in here and clean it up really good. Um, spray it out with carburetor cleaner. Really, really will make sure that the jets are open and what have you. Um, definitely uh, my first time doing this folks so definitely gonna do a review on a few people's videos who helped me to do this on my own and uh, yeah so I'll be right back with you so I'm coming back to give you an update there was another bolt right down here that needed to be taken off with the smaller socket wrench um, this one is the size 9 16 like I said earlier so there's two bolts that require this size it's the one right here and the one right here these two 9 16 um, excuse me 9 30 seconds of an inch first time doing this I'm so excited okay so there are a lot of moving parts here and I am being very ever so mindful not to um, get things out of the way because if I learned correctly from my dad, you better watch out for the little small things like gaskets and O-rings and what have you, not to lose those very sensitive, uh, necessary parts. So, all right, I will bring you guys in when I've um, cleaned this out. I'm definitely going to take the carburetor, do a good cleaning of it. As you can see, it's, I don't know how long I've had this unit, this um, lawnmower. But I've never cleaned this out and I don't know if my dad did before he passed on. So I, um, as you guys know, my dad and I would do these types of videos and he would uh, show me all sorts of things. But I don't recall ever doing anything like this with him. I'm sure he would be, he's very proud <laughs> looking at what I've uh, determined to do today.
All right, I'll bring you guys back in after I've cleaned this up. All right, so I got my carburetor a whole lot cleaner than what it was when we started. Pretty much just used a rag and a old toothbrush. And now what I'm gonna do is disassemble it and go ahead and spray those little jets out. Bring you back in shortly. You will need the nine, uh, nine thirty seconds of an inch um, socket for this one, for these two little bolts here. So once again, this is the carburetor, all nice and clean. I didn't take those O-rings out, but this is what it looks like. I just dropped my uh, socket wrench. So I'll take care of that and bring you guys in shortly. I did have to use a um, flathead screwdriver to wedge these parts away from one another so that I can pull it apart. So a flathead screwdriver is what you'll need also if you can't get a good grip to pull it apart. And once I have it apart, I'm going to go ahead and clean around that gasket really good. Just wipe it down some debris building up around there and then I'm gonna get this part off right here which is where the little gaskets need to the um, jets need to be blown out so I'll take care of that shortly and bring you back in I'm praying that this thing will crank up after all this preventative maintenance and I also took my flathead screwdriver and lift it up under here to release the jets as you can see there's some more fuel coming out of this thing um, I'm in an area where there's lots of weeds so <laughs> definitely let that go it's an old trash can that I'm working on as my handy dandy uh, workbench so I have one hand folks that I'm using and this is what makes it difficult so oh wow look at that that definitely could be the issue there it's a lot of debris in there so I'll get this cleaned out with the spray and I'll be right back and when I went to Walmart this is what the uh, technician there in lawn and garden suggested that I get so it's carburetor choke cleaner comes with this little spout thing this um, like that straw I suppose I don't know but that's what it comes with and I'm just gonna spray out the jets on this thing so I cleaned everything out the inside up here the inside up here and I also gave this a good cleaning inside and out and now you can see three holes through there or you couldn't see that might have been my problem not been a not being able to get fuel you know so I'll assemble everything back together and give this thing a crank all cleaned and ready to be reassembled let's get it <laughs> 